Youth, sports, gender, culture, and social services. Mr. Speaker, sir, our efforts to safeguard the Mwazindika dance through the support of the Kenya National Commission of UNESCO, KNATCOM, have borne fruit, and we are on the brink of inscribing this traditional dance as a cultural treasure to be preserved for generations to come. Mazindika dance now proudly stands as the second traditional dance in our country to be included in the UNESCO list, following in the footsteps of the renowned Isukuti of Western Kenya. This milestone is a testament to our commitment to preserve and promoting our cultural heritage. In addition to our efforts to safeguard the Mozindika dance, our cultural endeavors have taken us to national events where we have showcased the vibrancy and diversity of our cultural heritage. The Gonda Yabari Sangha traditional dance group, known for their captivating performance of the Mozindika dance, took center stage during the Utamaduni Day celebrations at Bombers of Kenya, Nairobi. They not only mesmerized the audience with their dance, but also highlighted our indigenous food systems and their significance in today's world. Furthermore, our participation in the 96 Kenya Music and Cultural Festival served as a platform to promote and safeguard our culture. Amidst our cultural initiatives, we have also sought to nurture and empower our youth through the Sana Kama Biashara program. In collaboration with MMS Advocates, we have established a seven-month academy aimed at training artists and recognizing and promoting various talents among the youth of Taita Taveta County. The program designed to enable our youth to realize their in their creative potential, and explore avenues for earning income from their talents underscores our commitment to nurturing the next generation of our cultural custodians. I'd like to highlight the significant progress made in mapping and preserving and preservation of cultural sites within our county. The department has successfully mapped Chabia Cultural Center at Mos in Chabia Ward, Mabomani Cultural Center at Mabomani in at Mabomani, at Mabomani in Bololo Ward, and Kirombo Cultural Center at Igazi in Golia Ward. These centers stand as beacons of our rich cultural heritage, embodying the traditions and customs that have been passed down through generations. We recognize the importance of preserving and promoting these sites to ensure that our cultural identity remains vibrant and celebrated. Furthermore, the department is actively pursuing the establishment of the Bundani Cultural Center and the Youth Creative Arts Center at Mvumuni in Bundani Mbale Ward. We understand that mapping and preservation of cultural sites is a continuous process and we remain steadfast in our commitment to this endeavor. On gender and social services, the department has undertaken significant activities that have fostered empowerment and advocacy for gender equality and social welfare. We have, collab we have col collaborated with partners to conduct capacity building sessions on gender-based violence, that is JBV, for stakeholders providing a platform to address the progress challenges and gaps facing G JBV response activities in our country. Our collective brainstorming has yielded a comprehensive work plan to address JBV and embrace a way forward in the pursuit of a society free from such abhorrent acts. Moreover, the department has been at the forefront of offering free trainings on ICT and garment making to young mothers and wid widows 
at the Voy Girl Incubation Hub. This initiative aims to equip these individuals with essential knowledge and skills in tailoring and dressmaking, empowering them to embark on income generating activities and break free from the shackles of poverty. We are committed to fostering self-sustainability among our community members and uplifting them to pursue opportunities that enable them to thrive. In addition to observing the International Day of People with Disability, I'm pleased to announce the completion of the long-awaited Ngolia Social Hall in Ndome Shopping Center, Ngolia Ward. After having stalled for over 15 years, this important community facility has now been brought to completion thanks to the diligent efforts of the department and the utilization of development funds for the fiscal year 2022-2023. Furthermore, the construction of the Mlambeni Social Hall in Motate Ward and the Sangeni Social Hall in Beruga Ward, both of which had also installed, are now underway and will soon be available for public use. These developments are a testament to our unwavering commitment to improving community infrastructure and enhancing the quality of life for our residents. Turning to the achievements of the Youth and Sports Unit, I'm delighted to share that our county hosted the Athletics Kenya Cross Country Competition at the Dawson Monyumba Stadium in Yundani. Our county cross country team received essential support to participate in the coast regional competitions held in Ukunda, Kwale County. I'm proud to announce that our county team emerged victoriously, claiming all the trophies and achieving the top position. This outstanding performance is a testament to the dedication and talent of our local facilities, and I commend them for their remarkable achievement. Furthermore, our department has been actively supporting football teams in various competitions, including the last season of the Football Kenya Federation County Mini League, which took place at Maho Premier School Playground in Taveta. In our commitment to nurturing youth, talent, and promoting sports at the grassroots level, the county government extended support to teams participating in the 2023 Kenya Pre Primary and Primary School sports activities, as well as the Kenya Secondary School programs. Additionally, I'm proud to highlight the Talanta Hela Football Tournament, a national government initiative aimed at nurturing and showcasing talents across the country. Honorable members, I'm delighted to announce the strides made in the improvement of sports fields and the empowerment of local teams with the funding allocated in the 2022-2023 financial year. We have initiated the process of enhancing sports facilities at the world level. Playground in various areas, including Kirumbi, Mwambiti, Kajire, and the Sagala International Talent Academy, have received much needed attention. Moreover, I'm pleased to inform you that there is a continued commitment to the construction of the Ngereni High Altitude Athletics Training Center, a vital resource for nurturing sports talent, sporting talent in our region. In line with our commitment to facilitating economic economic opportunities, we are a partner, we partnered with the Department of Finance and Economic Plan to conduct comprehensive AGPO training sessions. These sessions were designed to equip our youth, women, and persons with disabilities with the knowledge and skills necessary to engage in business ventures with the government by addressing critical topics such as IFMIS, AGPO, procurement processes, and access to credit from financial institutions, including the youth fund. Hustler Fund and Women Enterprise Fund were empowering individuals and groups to pursue their entrepreneurial aspirations with confidence and competence. 